What's up, guys? Beast Tank 06. We're going to talk about Dead Reckoning here, okay? So this is a historical mission. There's nothing around. I have to worry about nothing here. We're going to talk about what Dead Reckoning is. So basically, if I know where I've come from and I know where I'm going, I have a direction, a speed, or a vector, if you will, and I have a, a, a clock, I can determine where I am and where I'm going to go in a certain amount of time. So, uh, Dead Reckoning is done if you're using Silent Hunter 5 Real Navigation. It's done automatically for you. You have two kinds of marks. You have Celestial Navigation, which is marked with a C, and then you have, excuse me, Dead Reckoning, which is marked with a D. Okay? Uh, the difference between the two is one is done with the Sextant, and it's more accurate than Dead Reckoning. Dead Reckoning is done with your watch and with distance and speed, okay? Um, it doesn't take into account drift or wind, so it can be off. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we need a couple of tools. We're going to need our marker, we're going to need our compass, and we're going to need our speed conversion table, all right? So in this scenario, I'm going about five knots exactly, all right? I'm going to do the minutes because I'm not going to bore you with an hour of watching me doing this. So I'm going to set it to five minutes, and in five minutes I'm going to travel um, about 771 or 0.771 meters. Okay. So in order to determine this, we need to go to our compass and set it correctly. Okay. Which I'm going to do right now. <clears throat> it's actually quite simple. So when I click on it. I'm going to drag it out. Now it only goes into the 50s range. So I got 700, I got 750, and my chart's telling me 771. So it's going to be a little off. You're not going to get it perfect every time. And that's fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. But I'm going to do it as close as possible. Okay. I'm going to, as soon as I hit 750, I'm going to go just a little between 750 and 8. About right there. I'm going to put it over. I can't drag it because I'm I'm paused. But I'm, I'm when I'm unpausing the game, I'm going to take this, put it right over my mark. All right. And before I do that, let's find out. If you drag your mouse over the mark, it will tell you uh, what your course is and what your speed is. It's five knots at 224 degrees. So I'm going to mark a 224 degree mark. Okay. 20, 22, 24. Uh, for those of you who don't know, if you're kind of new to this, if you're really new to this, these little tick marks are um, two a piece. So uh, just so that you're aware. Okay. That is on your little helper tools here. All right. So the time now is, I can get rid of this. So the time right now is 12.11. So at 12.16, 17 seconds i'm going to want to take a look at where we're at okay so let's try that let's unpause it let's set this up right here i like using the compass because if i do have to turn my boat for any reason if you're doing small course changes i'm not talking like if you're going 90 or 180 degrees and back i'm talking like if you're doing like a 20 you know here i'll show you you know if you're doing like you know a 20 degree turn in either direction, it's not going to be too much of a difference on your time. All right. So let's take a look at that. So it's 1211, so 1216. Let's get it going here. 14, 15, 16. Okay. Let's go ahead and mark right where the end is of our compasses and I'm gonna get Emil to do a quick check. I don't trust his information. It might actually be off because for some reason when he's near land, his his markings get messed up all over the place. But at least it'll tell me if I'm kind of in the ballpark. I trust my dead reckoning before I trust his. It just I don't know if it's a glitch or if it's just he can't understand because he's near the land. I d I don't know. But let me just go ahead and let's go ahead and speed this up just a little bit. Okay. Yeah, see, I, 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 he, he's marking this as I hit this button, and so he's over here. I'm going to take my mark as the accurate one. Yep, yep, that's exactly what it is. So I did my mark at 16. He's one minute late. All right, so again, this is <laughs> close but no cigar. But at least I know that if you want to, if you press C, 
you can drag it here. And while it might be off with the time, at least you know that you're a little bit more accurate. Uh, it's really important to know dead reckoning because of exactly this reason. You're going into harbors. He may not be accurate. Um, if you're underwater, you can't do a sunshot, so it's only dead reckoning. If you're doing scapa flow missions, um, especially like around where all the coastal batteries are, um, I've done this many times. I kind of make it a game where when I'm, I try to stay submerged and never use my scope and just dead reckon all the way in. And you'll be surprised if you get good at this, you could do this really, really well and you'll be amazed. It, it actually works very well. In my next video, I'm going to do tactical dead reckoning and I'll show you how to, um, set up your map to dead reckon in case you do get a contact in areas like your patrol zone, or if you're in areas where you know you might run into ships. All right, guys, I hope you liked the video. Let me know.